Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the DPO group plugin for Gravity Forms. Let's get started. To begin, you're going to want to head over to GitHub, DPO group, DPO Gravity Forms, and navigate to the Releases tab. Once you're there, you're going to download the DPO group Gravity Forms plugin version 1.0.2 for Gravity Forms version 2.5.2, .2, which is the latest version of the plugin at the release of this video. You might be using a newer version of the plugin, and that's great too. You'll need to save the zip to a safe location on your computer when downloading. Common places for this are the download folder for your user or the desktop. Once the file is downloaded, you're going to want to extract it. Many operating systems now come with built-in file extractors. However, if your operating system doesn't have this functionality, you can use a free unzipping program such as WinZip. Alternatively, you can go to google.com and search for unzipping applications and see what you can find. Once extracted, we're going to open the folder and have a look inside. In here, you should see a Gravity Forms DPO group plugin zip, a readme, and three sample images. Next, we're going to open the readme.txt file and follow the instructions. Inside the readme, there are instructions for both automatic plugin installation and manual plugin installation. But for the sake of this video, we're going to follow the automatic instructions. Step one is to extract the download zip from GitHub onto your computer. We've already done this, so we can skip step one. Just note, it doesn't mean extract the zip inside the downloaded zip. You have to keep this file zipped up as we're going to use it later. The next step is to log into your WordPress admin panel. Let's do that now. Once logged in, you're going to move your mouse to the left where it says plugins and click on add new. Once the page loads, you're going to click the upload plugin button at the top of the screen and then click on the choose file button. Once the window loads, you're going to navigate to the recently downloaded and extracted folder and select the Gravity Forms DPO group plugin.zip and click open. Now you're going to click the install now button. Once it's installed, you're going to click the activate plugin button. But if you accidentally close this tab before clicking the activate plugin button, all is not lost. You'll simply navigate to the installed plugins link here, find the DPO group plugin and activate it by mousing over and clicking activate. But to save that step, we're going to click the Activate Plugin button now. Now that it's showing Plugin Activated at the top of the screen here, we can move on to steps four and five, which is integrating the DPO Group Plugin with the Gravity Forms Plugin. To begin this, you're going to move your mouse to the left and click on the Forms link. Alternatively, mouse over Forms and click on Forms in the side menu that appears. Once the forms load, find the form that you're wanting to integrate with the DPO Group Payment Gateway and select it. Once the form loads, move your mouse to the top of the screen where it says settings, and then look for the DPO group menu item and click on it. If the item doesn't show, it means that the plugin is not activated on your website. Once the page loads, click on the add new button to the right hand side inside the DPO group feed section. The first field is the name field. By default, it's called DPO group feed one. If you want to rename it, you're welcome to. The fields below that are the DPO Group Company Token and Service Type fields. These will be provided to you by DPO Group when you register an account. Let's fill them in now with our own test credentials. Below that is the Use Custom Confirmation Page radio button. This is used if you want to send the user to a thank you page or a failed page after the transaction. If set to yes, then you'll need to put a successful page URL in here. A common URL will be forward slash thank dash you. But please note that you will have to create this page on your website beforehand. There's also a failed page URL. This will be if the transaction fails and you can call it failed dash transaction or whatever you want. Again, keep in mind that this page must exist before you can link it. Below that we have the mode radio button, production or test. Production means that the payment gateway is live and transactional. Test means that the plugin is in test mode and you can run test transactions to make sure it's working before pushing it live. Under transaction type, there's a drop down. You're going to click on it and click product and services. Once you've clicked that, more fields will show below. Under the other settings section, you're going to map the fields in the form with the DPO group payment gateway fields, such as mapping telephone with phone, first name with first name, last name with surname, etc., etc. But more importantly, Make sure that you map the DPO group country field with the form country field and the DPO group email field with the form email field, which is this field and this field respectively. Below that, there's also a custom text field for the continue button 
and you can also add in a cancel URL that will have the same functionality as the failed and thank you pages, only it's if the customer wants to cancel the transaction instead. There is also a checkbox for conditional logic, but you're not going to need to have a look at the conditional logic options to get the plugin working and transactional. Once you're done, click the Save Settings button. Now, if we go back to the document and look at step five, it says when a transaction is approved, canceled, or failed, the user needs to see a confirmation message based on the transaction status. And then it says to follow the below instructions to complete the three confirmations. So let's do that now. On the left, you're going to click on the confirmations button. And then if they don't exist, you're going to create a confirmation message for approved, one for canceled, and one for failed. As you can see here, the text says transaction approved, transaction canceled, and transaction failed. Please note that the confirmation naming has to be per the document, or lowercase and those exact words. If you look in the folder that was downloaded, in here you should see three embedded sample images that will give you examples on how to set up the form and the confirmation messages. Sample one will show you the form, sample two will show you the feed settings, and sample three will show you confirmations. Now that everything is configured, let's go to the front end and test the form to see if it is working correctly. To do this, simply go to the page on your front end where the form is displayed, fill in the details, and proceed to payment. As you can see here, this is the form that we have set up for test purposes, and this is where we set up the payment feed. So let's quickly fill it in and proceed to the payment page to make sure that it's working correctly. If you see this page, it means you have configured the DPO Group payment plugin successfully. Congratulations.